Hello everyone, this is Iqbal Khan and uh, this is a little conifer that I worked on back in August 2012. It's about three years now uh, and uh, it's 1st of August 2015 and uh, I have worked on it a few times since then and uh, more work needs to be done. I've removed quite a few branches since I first worked on it back then and I'm going to remove some more branches. Um, it's still very busy around here. There are three branches and I've, I think I'm going to remove these two and just hang on to that one um, and uh, simply because there is this branch here. If I, if I leave these then, uh, and remove this one, there's nothing here. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to remove these two branches and uh, develop this one, retain this one, and it's a little bit more balanced. So without further ado, we're going to go in and remove that and this branch. And I'm going to wire the tree, uh, tree up. It's been wired a few times, but uh, uh, what happens as the branches grow, uh, they bounce back into the old position. And um, so it needs to be wired sort of at reasonable intervals. And also at the top, um, so that's okay, that's okay, that branch is okay, that's okay, that's all right. It's starting to get very busy around here. So I'm going to have to do something here. I think I'm going to remove this one to start with and then decide what to do with these two. Right. So it's, um, this would be why it's moved slightly across and uh, that is fine there. That is not fine, not okay. It's coming out literally from very, very close to the to this one. So I think I'll leave it for now. Um, otherwise, there'll be nothing here. So I'll leave it for now and see how it develops. And um, moving up the tree. That will go down. I think I'll start wiring it up and then see how it looks before I remove any more branches further up. And firstly, tidy up the pot a little. That's the church clock in the background. The church is not very far from here. It's quite a pretty little church. It's taken a long time to figure out how to deal with the aircraft noise. I have found a workaround solution and that's basically uh, remove those bits and or redo those bits. It, it'll take a bit longer but at least the um, aircraft noise will have been reduced to uh, nil or minimal. And uh, I hope that will add to the uh, viewing experience being improved from what it, it has been thus far. That's the top of the pot cleaned up and now I'm going to wire up. So I've made a little anchor on the trunk and then this wire will go around. It's quite a thick branch so I'm using a heavy gauge wire just to get this down to about there. And then I'll use thinner wires to uh, wire this up. <clears throat> Moving up the tree and uh, wiring these upper branches, I'm using one wire to uh, wire two branches with. And uh, again, uh, fairly thick and uh, won't go very far with these, just uh, enough to create the bend that I want and then slightly thinner wires at the end. Oh, 
working my way up the tree. Uh, again, these two branches up here will be wired with um, one wire and that will go like so. And this one up here I'll continue and wire up the top. I have finished wiring the tree and uh, it's just a question of placing the branches and uh, moving them downwards to give that aged look. But as I said before, they do bounce back when the wires are removed and the branches grow. Uh, these trees have a habit of the branches going back up again and they need constant wiring to uh, maintain the shape. Now this one I'm going to pull this way to fill this space here. Just holding the wires with this and just twisting the wire. Use the force of the wire to bend it. It'll be interesting to see how long they stay, but they do bounce back. They stay for a while and then as, they, as the branches grow um, and thicken, they bounce back. So, let's see what to do with this. And move it to here like that thin out a little this also is too close too close to the trunk so that will have to come off it's a new bud but the energy is better going to the end, to the tips, as opposed to being used up here. And it would have been removed anyway at a later stage, if I'd missed it now. up some of this growth which is growing up and inwards so let's take that out from there and this one going upwards same thing with this one here and this one here And I'll give it a quick turn. I 
quite a few of you asked for an update on this little tree and uh, quite rightly as I hadn't I had worked on it in the last three years but not uh, recorded an update so here it is until another uh, six months or so perhaps next spring uh, and in the meantime thank you for watching and to watch more please subscribe It was cut back quite drastically and there's a lot of new growth which uh, I need to trim back and tidy up and also the uh, branches that I originally cut back need to be 